everyone, it's Veronica Stanley Hooper here, and I am here with our next episode of Draw Along. We are going to be drawing a cute little crocodile today. This crocodile originated as a character in the book Oliver the Cranky Crocodile. His name is Simon, um, Lisa Ann Swain, the author of that book, and I just finished up uh, just, just before the new year, and I hope that you'll check out that book in the comments. Uh, today we are going to use some rounded rectangles and some rounded triangles and circle shapes to create this crocodile and uh, I can't wait so let's get started. Let's get started with this cute little crocodile. Stay tuned for the end we're going to do some digital techniques. Let's get started with a fresh canvas and our pencil tool. We're going to start here with some rectangular shapes, a little tapered at the bottom, and that's where his belly will be. And then we're going to add one here to his lower back, a little tapered at the edge there on the right, so that we can add on his tail. This is going to be like a triangular shape, a little rounded at the edge. Let's do a circle up here for his head, and then another circle down here for his snout. Let's add some ovals over here and right here for his cheeks. And then let's add some bumps on the top of his snout for his nose and circles for his eyes. Oh, this is looking good. Let's add an almond shaped here for that'll be his eyeball. And inside we're just going to do some upside down smiles for his pupils. I'm just retracing over these nostril bumps a minute and then I'm going to add some little lines in here for his nostrils and let's add in his smile. You can do yours any way you like. And now let's do his front paw. There's a circle for the top and a rectangular shape for his paw. And for his back leg we're going to do a circle for his thigh and then another rectangular shape for his foot. All right, now let's, that's looking pretty good. Let's go in and start retracing now, just a little darker so we know exactly where our little guy's gonna be looking. And let's do a little bump up on the top, give him some character. And let's trace over those eyes and over that line there for his eyelid and his pupil and on this side too. There we go. And that's his other pupil. And then we're just going to come in around here for his cheek. A little bump there, a little bump there, and around on that side for his cheek. And let's go around the top of his nose and his nostrils there. Yep. And then we're just going to add those little curves. That's right. Give him a little character. And there's the holes for his nostrils. And let's retrace over his smile real quick. That's nice. Okay, now on his back you may have noticed that he has some bumps, but let's just get in the general shape first. And then we're going to add some texture later. There we go. And let's get in the shape for his front paw and his front leg. That's looking good. Now let's give him some toes. Just a bumpy, bumpy, bumpy there. Okay, good. Now the back leg. Let's go around that area there and his foot same as before we just want to give him some toes and a bump and a bump I made them a little pointed on the edge you can make them however you like and that's looking pretty good all right now let's do the texture on the back we're just going up and down up and down up and down I'm not really counting here I'm just giving him little bumps for the his back and his tail that's looking good. And then just off the edge of the eye here, we're going to do upside down bumps. Okay, and that'll be the other side or the other ridge of his back. And we're going to stop there just before we get to the end. And now let's do his underbelly here. Some nice big scales for his underbelly. And then I am going to round them at the bottom so it looks like he's got some really good character and shape here. Just rounding each little scale at the bottom for his belly. And now that looks looking pretty good. So let's select our eraser tool and go in and clean up our lines. If you haven't seen episode one and two yet, you'll remember this part 
um, or you may not remember this part, but basically we go in with a, our eraser tool and we clean up all of our lighter sketch lines here so that we can really see what we're going to be inking over and colorizing. So I'm just cleaning up his belly here and making sure this looks like a foot. That's looking pretty good. And just cleaning up a little bit inside the belly there. And now I'm just going to cut in so I know that each of these little bumps is not going to be connected with a line. It's just going to be about, that's the outside shape of his body. And again, this is just our sketch, so you make him any way you like on his back. You can make the ridges a little bigger or a little smaller, whatever you think is right. All right, now he's looking pretty good. I like the way this looks. So I'm going to um, select a new layer, and I am going to select my ink tool and black. And let's get started here with inking this little guy in. This one has a lot of bumpy shapes, so I am not going to even try steady stroke on this one today. We're just going to go in with a really steady hand, just as if you were just drawing with an ink pen on paper. And right there, the bumps on the top of his head. He's looking like he has a really good character to him. This character was developed for a book called Oliver the Cranky Crocodile. His name was Simon, and I'll put the link in the comments so you can check out that book and look for Simon. He is one of many uh, crocodiles in the book. So now we're just going over each of the lines for the belly and tracing over his foot and his front leg here. I just added a little bump in there for an elbow. Crocodiles have kind of shortish legs. And now we're going over the back leg and the back foot. I made the toes pointy. You make them any way you like. And just finishing up with the belly here, tracing over those shapes. It's really important when you ink, if you're using a digital drawing, that you connect all of your lines if you're going to use the paint bucket tool later. Otherwise, if there's any gaps, it's just going to overflow and go right onto the canvas. So here I'm just finishing up the bumps on the back. We're giving him lots of ridges. And he is looking really snazzy. I like the way he's looking now. And these bumps do not have to be exactly all the same. In fact, if they are, he starts losing some of his character. It's better to give him, you know, some unique shapes here and there. Because, you know, in nature, everything isn't perfectly straight or even. There we go. I made a little mistake there. I'm just cleaning that up. And we're moving on with the ridges on the other side. These are opposite in direction of the ones on the top ridge. And I'm just finishing up here. I'm going to connect to the head, and that's looking pretty good. Now, I, like I said before, I just want to make sure I clean up, make sure everything's looking tidy. Um, places, erasing places where I've overdrawn a bit, and connecting places where they may not, um, the lines may not be connected. So I'm just going over with my eraser tool here and cleaning up some spots where I overdrew. Now I'm going to go back in and connect that circle because, again, if I'm using my paint bucket tool here and I leave any gaps, it's just going to overflow the color to the canvas. So I want to make sure I clean everything up really nicely here. And I'm just kind of using the eraser tool and the pen tool back and forth just to clean up my sketch. And you can see here I made an extra little bump. I don't like that. And I just want to clean up those inside edges so when I add the color inside, it looks really nice and tidy. And this is looking pretty good. I like the way that looks. Yeah, that looks like a clever little crocodile. So let's come up here and choose a really neat color green for him. I like this kind of olive -y color. And I'm going to choose my paint bucket tool, and I'm just going to click and click in his body here, click in his head and his eye, and there we go. Now I'm going to choose a golden color um, for his belly and just click in each one of those little shapes that we made for his belly. 
and that's looking pretty clever. All right, now let's go and select white and just put that in his eyes and there's our finished crocodile. So if you're drawing along with pen or pencil and paper and crayons and markers, you may not um, want to follow along for this last part, but if you're trying some digital media with me today, you can try doing some of this. So I clicked in the layer where I have my color and I clicked on the lock. That means that anything I do now will only color on the part that's already colored. So I'm going to choose down here this fun, fancy little shape. I think it's called camo. And I choose I chose a, a darker color green and I'm just kind of going over to give him a little texture. You can see how that's giving him like a little uh, scales and you know a body texture to him now. He looks like a bumpy crocodile. And um, I did a little bit of airbrush here. I'm just going around the bottom of him so that it looks a bit shadowed in the places where it would be naturally a little darker around his arms and his armpits and under his belly and along the ridge of his back maybe and right here under his eyes. Yep. That's looking pretty good. Oh, that the camo got a little bit in his eyes. So I want to clean that up a little bit. I'm just going to select my pen tool. And I'm just going to go in there and just clean up his eyes and get rid of that um, camo shading. You can see how it modeled and inside the eyes. And that's basically what it did here for the whole crocodile when I went over him. And just cleaning up this other eye real quick with the white. And getting it looking nice and tidy. And, you know, it would be fun to play around with a, a different kind of a shape. I have um, some extra brushes that I've found that are really interesting. Besides the camo, there's some dots and, and other fun textures that you can add to yours. Um, and just by clicking that little lock tool, you can add texture to the critter that you've drawn. And that's it. That is our finished crocodile. So I hope you enjoyed today. Well, I hope you enjoyed drawing that crocodile as much as I did. Like and subscribe so you can catch the next episode as soon as it's up. See you later. Bye.